Good morning. It is day 400. I'm so used to saying 300. Wow. Day 401 of me trying to make a movie inside of Blender. A full movie. So it's an hour and like 46 minutes long right now. So over the last year or so, I've worked on making the first draft of the movie, which is called a previs. And it basically was just to get a really rough version of it done so that I could look at it and say, is this working? And actually a lot of it isn't, <laughs> but I do know what locations I need and what characters I need. And I know a lot of the scenes do work, but I'm still going to have to go through and fix um, a lot of just little story elements and stuff. So I've actually been thinking about that a lot over the last like few days. Um, but in the meantime, while I kind of take a break from doing the previs, I've been working on creating all the models for the movie. So um, this is kind of chapter four of the journey and chapter chapter one, I guess I, I didn't even remember what that was, but um, chapter three was finishing the previous and now it's chapter four, getting ready for animation, which means right now making all the models and environments, characters, et cetera, et cetera. And um, learning how to animate with this animation course I'm taking called Alive. And then last but not least, and probably most importantly, actually I guarantee you it's the most important, um, fixing the story. <laughs> um, so I, I'm putting fixing the story at kind of the end of that because that's going to be the most, uh, most intensive thing probably, <laughs> even more than animation because with animation, I mean, that's, that's going to be hard, but the story is really what matters. Um, so I have some ideas cooking and I've just been kind of letting them simmer on the back pot and it's just been, it's just been slowly stewing and bubbling and I'm stirring the pot slowly more and more and hopefully eventually some great brilliant ideas will pop to the surface and um actually yesterday I had a talk with a friend who is kind of a writer was a writer now he's doing video editing stuff um um and he gave me a lot of good ideas so anyhow today I I'm talking about like kind of what we're going to be doing like coming up in the future today we're going to continue working on the environment for the main character's um, house. So I already finished a farmhouse, hallelujah, <laughs> finally. Um, but now I'm working on the environment. So I have a good start, I think, but I wanna I wanna get it to a place where I can put the camera out there and not be like, eh, kinda ugly, you know? I mean, if it's a little ugly, it doesn't necessarily matter. Ugliness is not the problem, just, being visually interesting is um so right now it's a little bland so my way of solving that is let me add vines over everything <laughs> so yesterday i built a ge geometry nodes vine generator thing it isn't that complicated but um it did it take me like way too long to figure out <laughs> i just ended up following a tutorial I, I try to follow like bits and pieces of different tutorials because i didn't really like how it was turning out um but i just realized the simpler the better and i just you know, put leaves up on a curve <laughs> so i got it working and i started to add it on the live stream yesterday um but i'm going to continue working on that today and hopefully finish the front yard slash garden area because if i can do that i have one more thing i can check off of the whiteboard which is ultra satisfying i really like doing that <laughs> too much probably actually um so yeah that's kind of that's kind of the game plan right now it's kind of just chill it's like before seven o'clock in the morning I just was looking at the discord server. I realized I forgot to respond to several people's like messages, like from like last month, which is kind of bad on me. Um, but yesterday actually in the live stream, people were asking me sort of like, what is the discord server for? So before I get into like the making the movie, I'm just going to actually give you guys a quick, like, this is what this is. And like, this is why it's a thing, um, because if you don't ever use discord you're like i don't know what that is so basically the idea is to make a community of people where you can just be like hey i'm working on this project i think it's pretty cool and maybe you guys will think it's cool also and you can just kind of share what you're doing and maybe you'll, maybe you have like a problem maybe you have like a revelation oh guys look if you use x y and z you can do it twice as fast this is cool or even if it's like 0.1 times faster wait point one. Is that faster? I don't know. It's slower, but it, either way, you know, you can share your highs, your lows, and um, 
Or you could just like be there and be like, you know, just read other people's stories or whatever, you know? You don't have to share if you don't want to. It makes it much funner if you do. Funner. That's a technical word, by the way. That's a real word. It's in the dictionary now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that, that's why it's there. And obviously, if you guys want to support me, there is the whole elite server subscription thing, which is not obviously necessary. Most of the Discord server is totally free. And um, I did. So, yeah. If you guys want, like, access, though, to, like, files for this movie before it's done or, like, before I actually have the time to upload it all to Blender Kit, which eventually I will do, um, because I, I, I believe that, like, might as well, if I make it, you know, <laughs> might as well make it available for free eventually, um, because, I mean, you know, I, just, I, I like doing that. It's lots of fun. Um, so I will eventually do that, but, like, right now, I just, I can't <laughs> upload all the things I'm making because... The amount of time that would take, like, if I actually did, did that, would take, like, it'd probably take, like, a month, honestly, like, upload each individual thing, you know, properly, um, because there's so many random models that I've made for this project so far, so that'll be a fun thing to worry about in a year or two. You know, I'm going to do my outside chores here, um, because we live on a farm, sort of. Huh, funny, these main characters also live on a farm. Wonder how that happened. Um, and, uh, yeah. I'll get back to you guys later, hopefully, making vines. That kind of sounds dumb, but okay, cool. Bye. <laughs> test, test, test. All right. So it is the afternoon now, and I have been busy working inside of Blender. Therefore, that is what I'm going to show you. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so I finally figured out how to properly link the files. Um, it's just you normally link them, but um, I find finally figured out how to update the file it's actually kind of cool you go over here because i have all these different versions of if i can find it i can't find it right now um of the farmhouse here um it's like it's just linked in so i can use it in all over because there's all the rooms inside the farmhouse in certain scenes i don't want to have all this junk out here because for just like one shot you know that's just a waste of resources so um that way, I can just open this and boom, it's still loading. Um, we have the whole farmhouse um, and I can update the file name. So I have all these versions saved so I can go like this. Boom, version 23 and I'll go in here or and I can just like here move this just an example. Um, let's just so I can undo it um, five feet there that way. Now open this um, version. We still have the old version. Yay. And now look, um, go to the environment and it's still here to update it. It's actually, I've, this is what I was, couldn't figure out um, if you, it was even possible, but it is. So it's, it's, it's kind of cool. Um, let's see. I think you go blender file and then see this. It's linked in there. You just click relocate. It's like, oh, cool. And then just relocate library and boom, it updates. It's pretty fire. So yeah, I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, rats. I just opened a third instance of Blender. Okay, cool. <laughs> Close this version. Um, it does get a little confusing, as you probably just saw. And um, let's just move this back. Minus five feet. Save. And I'm going to have to reload this right here. Boom, and now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> no pun intended. So yeah, I made a grill. Um, not in that file, and this file here. Um, so yeah, that's cool. I think it's mildly accurate. I looked up all these old grills. I, it's kind of cool. I looked up just like old grill, or actually 1990 or 80 or 70 or something grill, and all like it was all the same type. I was like, cool. Apparently it was a monopoly by a uh, Weber. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's a thing now. And I know it says deck here because I was going to get a whole bunch of moody deck pictures, but I couldn't really find any that I was like, had in my head. So that's not happening, which is totally fine. Um, but I already have enough, um, kind of obviously reference. So that's okay. Don't want to over, uh, over load my uh, PR file. So let's see what else did I do? Oh. Yes, I am just continuing and I wanted to basically the whole idea of adding vines was, oh, I want to add some vines here to make this more interesting. But I quickly realized I wanted vines here more than here. And I'm still going to put vines here, but I just kind of went crazy here. 
So yeah, it's it's now a thing. It's all over here. And I'm actually really happy with how it turned out, and I have a good system, I think, going. So now I am happy with how this deck is. It was it was just way too um it was way too plain before I added some imperfections, like, oh wow, Joshua, he even moved one of the things. It's so cool. Wow. It's not really that cool. Um I'm kind of toying with the idea of removing one of these little sections and adding stairs down to the backyard here. But then I'm realizing maybe I don't want to do that, so I don't know. Another idea I have is maybe I want to move this entire woodshed like closer. I don't know. That might be something I want to do. Let's see, minus five feet. That really doesn't do much. But um I mean I guess the backyard ideally, you know, it's kind of some empty blank space, but right now it just feels very empty. Which I guess is what you want for a backyard. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. Um, Cause back here I'm gonna have like a field of something, and then there's gonna be a horse pasture up here, and um, I can't remember what goes back here. Just probably another field. And I also need to I think I need to figure out where Spadabra, the antagonist of the movie, lives, because for his area and location, I'm gonna have it be mountainous and hilly, and then they live in the like the hill or the and then. It's gonna be like hills and then yeah so i have this whole like idea for how i want this to be i just have to figure out where the people are so i can put it there so um before i do that uh, i'm going to i feel like this deck needs like one like something to just kind of like throw on there to make it look a little more unmanaged not that i want that to be like messy but um the more uh little small details like oh there's a tire here how that must have a story you know um, there's also, I also noticed in this picture, there's like literally no grass. Apparently some places there's just not grass. Like they just have rocks and asphalt and concrete, which is kind of scary. Um, and no trees in the background either. So that's definitely not where I live. Um, anyhow, um, yeah, just having little bits, like little details, you know, oh, like, oh, there's a cool little ladder there or something. I don't know. I need some ideas here. So maybe like some flowers. Oh, no, that's a great idea. That's, that's what I'll try. Maybe some like little, well, I already have some flowers there, but so, something, I need to put something somewhere, S somehow, I don't know. So I'll be thinking about that and catch you guys later because people are going to be noisy in here. <laughs> so bye. Yo. So, um, good news. Um, we've been able to get some, I need to stop saying we, I've been able to get some good work done. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Why do I always have this inclination to say we? It's just me like bro what what's wrong with me anyhow um i've been able to get some interesting work done i guess is i think it's been good work um i added all these birch trees um along this tree line that i'm gonna make um that i just made i guess um my idea is that it'll border the horse or well, the future horse pasture um where betty's fleet foots when she eventually gets a horse where she's gonna have it and then learn where she learns to ride um so actually i really like this idea and i think it'll be pretty epic so i'm kind of stoked about that um just like ah ha you know an aha moment those are fun um also i think i already showed you guys the grill i made <laughs> that was fun um i i didn't i've not so far gotten to a point where i can work on the garden which was like kind of the the starting point of, to, of today in the last few days i've been just trying to get this garden done but i'm gonna um come back to that right now so uh let's get going hopefully that goes well um i'm probably gonna end up accidentally making a hammock because i i put that down as something i wanted to get done for like a while and i've not done that yet i i'm honestly right now i'm just like doing things um that i've been meaning to do for like the longest period of time and it just have like skipped over or something so it's hopefully things are slowly coming up to a crescendo where i finish it hopefully <laughs> we'll see um I'm, I'm kind of thinking wider now um you know kind of like zooming out and like okay what's the bigger picture and that kind of is helping dictate where things go maybe in the garden maybe i don't know um it's it's quite the interesting process but it is it is enjoyable it's just trying to take it one little piece at a time but also i guess yeah keep the big picture in mind try to make a full movie not the ultimate farm um actually adding like imperfection to it is key i think making sure it's not like it, it, it albert einstein didn't make this okay and i'm not saying i'm albert einstein but you don't have like 
infinite time to think about, okay, where am I going to place this picnic table, you know? Um, now, I did spend a while trying to place it because the house was made, like, in my head at least, it was imbalanced because it sounds so stupid now. But um, having it where it was, I felt like the umbrella sticking up from the top just made it feel like wrong. I don't know. So I finally got it to a place where I'm happy with it. So enough talking, let's get doing. And um, I'll give you guys an update later. So see you then. I don't know what that was, help. Hello there. So I've been busy working on making this fence more unique for just no reason at all. Um, <laughs> I know I said I was gonna be making vines and I actually did, almost forgot about that. Um, I actually come 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 up, bro. What? I I act like I don't speak English half the time. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I I figured out a really fun way to make vines go up and down, because um, normally if you just draw them on with a draw the draw tool, they go all over the place, <laughs> um, especially in a case like this. But I figured out a fun way to around it. Um, so if you find the vine thingamabob here, go to edit mode, go to the draw tool. And then you take like a trellis like this and you draw it. Well, actually over here would work better because it's up high, but you draw it like this. Suddenly you have this and it just comes down because it, it'll detect the high thing and the low thing and you just kind of scale it however you want. So I'm going to delete this. Um, so I'm going to quickly do it right here for this little trellis thing of a bob here and um, show you guys how it works. It's kind of cool. So just kind of draw it. Actually, that's a little too predictable. Um, just kind of draw it like kind of, I don't know, all over the place. Probably it's a little bit too much, but uh, we'll see. Um, so the idea here is just select this, move it up, look at it, and it's supposed to look cool. Does it? Wait, isolate it here. Does it kind of look cool? Um, sorta. What I'm just gonna do is move it so it kind of encapsulates it a bit better. And I really like how this is looking. Actually, it's kind of fun. Um, and yeah, let's uh, go ahead and apply all this. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna duplicate this. I try to keep one so that because I apply it as a. Um, I get turned into a mesh once I'm done, so it doesn't accidentally like change or something. Um, so I always try to keep a a version that's not going to uh, be applied that still has the modifiers on it. So I'm just gonna call this vines or yeah, vines three, I guess, and um, delete these curves so that I just have the object right here. I don't know. That's just a random idea I had, and you probably hear my siblings being goofs in the background. <laughs> Um, let's see. Yeah, so cool. I got this going here, and I'm just gonna mess with this for a hot second here. Something is, I think I can make this a little bit better. Um, vine thickness, yeah, you don't want to up that too much. Wow, 0 0.01 maybe. That's probably too thin. Actually, that looks well, I don't know. Let's see, make this very, very thin. Thin vines, boys. Okay, cool. Um, it's almost thread like, maybe a bit thicker. <laughs> All right, cool. And now what we're just gonna do is decrease the noise. Well, maybe no matter like how it was, just keep it. <laughs> um, let's see density max. If we're gonna keep it this thin, then we're gonna have to make these a bit thicker. Unless we okay. Wow. Hello. That's a lot of vines or uh, leaves. Sorry. Um, something like that, and then just kind of pop some leaves in there. Am I happy with that? Eh, more or less. I can manually fix some of these leaves if I need to, which I think I will actually. Well, I think that'll actually work. Well, mm -mm -mm -mm. it's always hard to tell. <laughs> Alrighty, um, no, I'll just I'll just add some more leaves just so it, you can kind of cover the weirdness of it all. Okay, that's a lot. Um, all right, something like that, I think it'll work. I don't know. Anyhow, let's just go ahead and apply this. If I need to redo it, I can just whatever, delete it or whatever I want. So mesh, boom. So now it's all applied. Yay! Go in here into edit. Oops, go to edit mode and reset the UVs. That just makes the gradient texture work properly. And um, I'm just gonna move it into place here. Oh, rats! I have the origin way over there. Let's fix that surface. Rotate like 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and I'm just gonna like pop it in here. So I think feel like it would be cool to have like vines here. I don't know. I've never seen that really, but uh, hey, I can make this up. It's in my movie, you know? <laughs> Let's see. Um, cool, yo. 
Oh, and it's going to end up clipping into the wall, unfortunately, probably. Um, which is probably not very ideal, but you know what? Blah, blah. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, I'm just going to say this is done. I, well, no, what? Yeah, let's be good and actually manually. I've not really done. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I didn't realize I had uh, made these leaves so three dimensional. But that's fine. Um, I'm going to use the proportional edit tool and attempt to move, move some of these. Oh, OK. Wow, it's a little large right now. Move some of these out of the way, sort of a bit. There we go. Kind of tend these. Uh, tend these plants. <laughs> Um, which is wow, they're doing some weird things. Let me tell you that to be really honest. Um, there we go. You know, someone, I was doing a live stream earlier, and someone was like, "You know, no one's gonna see that." I'm like, "Yeah, you're right." But I, I still consciously have pain, physical pain that happens when I see things intersecting. So, yeah, that's fun. Anyhow, I think that's good, and it's five o'clock now. I'm trying to be done working at five, just so that I don't end up working like till ten o'clock at night, just because I try to go to bed earlier. And um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna call it quits for today. I made these birch trees. I think I was talking about that in the last clip, and um, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, uh, tomorrow. Uh, I think I'm going to redo these probably. What came from this bush was this, and then I eventually came up with this. Wait, sorry, not that. Actually, I like that right there. But that eventually turned into this. A, um, a friend was like, yeah, you need, a, you, you need to add more detail. And he was very right. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> Everyone say say thank you, Andrew, in the uh, the comments. We, we need he, he needs it. <laughs> um, let's see. And then I ended up adding all these flowers back here, which are which is a variation of that previous design where I just randomly selected a little bits and pieces of these cubes and just assigned the flower material to it. And it worked even better. So it just is progressively getting better as we go. Um, and this is the, um, the umbrella picnic table that I was talking about. So lots of lots of fun prog progress, mate, today, mates. And um, I need to stop turning into a British person. So let's go. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, um, um. Hi. <laughs> Good evening. It is the end of day 401 for real now. Um, I just finished editing the video. It's eight o'clock. This is going well. Um, so yeah, today was a good day, I think. And um, I think I can attribute some of that to actually getting some good sleep um, last night. Um, I went to bed nice and early and I still woke up early, but um, I think that definitely helped. Um, also, I put the camera on top of a printer because um, we have other things on the table right now, and this feels really weird. Anyhow, um, I had some important thing that I was going to talk about. Oh, right. Yes. Um, <laughs> I was going to say progress often is um, it's not like linear. So like you'll work on something for a while and you feel like you're not getting anywhere. And finally, it all comes together and it's like, aha and i feel like we're getting closer and closer to the aha moment kind of like what happened with the farmhouse like <laughs> you're just doing a little bit by little bit and finally i was like oh cool we're actually done now so um this whole journey this whole process of making a full movie there's a lot of that there's a lot of prep a whole lot of prep and then more prep and then there's doing it and each individual step feels like it's going to take an eternity and it kind of feels like it does but when you look back it's like okay that wasn't that bad you know i could do that again maybe not right now though but i mean i could you know um so it's all part of uh it's, i guess it's all about seeing it like zoomed out and being like okay we could just do this one step at a time and eventually it'll work out and if it doesn't, we get to learn from it. So it still works out. Double double win, guys. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, be done for today because I already I already I already finished editing it. All I have to do is import this into the editor and be like, "Yo, I'm done with the video," and add, add music. Um, <laughs> let's go. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. If you actually made it this far, comment like something like i made it this far bruh cool um and um i'll see you in the next video 
And also special thanks to all um, three people who are part of the Elite server subscription, Nishim 3D, Willadon, and Cinemorphia. You guys are awesome. <laughs> and um, bye. <laughs> oh, Joshua forgot to cut.